Question number three. Do you find this statement true? Mugen is full of intelligent morons. Think about that one before answering. The answer is, I don't know. Sounds like an oxymoron if you ask me. The intelligent people are the ones that know about fighting game and or uh, other fighting games outside of the engine itself. So that can be understandable for the term of intelligent. Morons are the people that don't know anything about other fighting games, so they don't know their mechanics, so they'll constantly pick the broken versions of certain characters. Um, or they just plain pick a broken character anyway. They base their team solely on the AI. It goes all back to the stupidity and ego thing. So, but you can... I guess you can say you can find intelligent morons, guys who pick, who have you know, some good knowledge of fighting games, have played fighting games, so you at least you've got a gaming intelligence, but moronic because you pick the poor conversions of the characters. I guess that's the way it works, but right now all I can say is yes, no, maybe, I don't know. Can you repeat the question? <laughs> um, finally, you think that Terry Bogard would be a better leader of the Dynamite Fighters themselves simply because, uh, well, you know, er, an American from America? In America? Possibly. I'm actually thinking about that. I He could make a better leader. Um, but the only thing is, just because he's an American doesn't mean he's got, you know, the stuff to be a leader. Terry is kind of that cocky guy. I mean, he's cocky. He will say that, you know, it's no fluke. That's why I'm always here in King of Fighters tournaments. Quoted from his King of Fighters 98 win quote. Cell is mostly going to be the leader of the team because he is a powerhouse. He will be cocky at times, uh, overcompensating, or not really overcompensating, uh, over, uh, overly egotistic. So he will constantly say that, you know, our crew is the better crew because we got the power and everything. And if you aren't, you know, showing that you can do what you, what you are supposed to do at full power, he will kick you out of there. He will kick you out. Simple as that. Cell can be a leader because he's got what it takes to be a leader. Now, if you remember the whole Zat Chat thing where we did the role playing, and ooh, my Cell was more worried about morale in the team, and yours was like, yo, you're such a pussy. You're you're totally pussy with because you're more concerned about morale. You should be showing your true power and everything. Blah blah blah. Sounding like the actual Cell from the entire DBZ saga. That's probably one of the funniest bits right there. I will say that. Either way, Cell would probably make a better leader than Terry. But Terry, if, he wa if we wanted to go for an All-American squad, Terry would probably be almost the only guy in there, because I can't really think of too many other characters in fighting game world that are actually American uh, members. Um, so that does it for Lord Vucius. Now it's for EODM. And he asks me, out of the entire... out of the entire roster of characters you own, what are your fave five characters and why? Uh, Jin Sao Tome, because he's just pure awesome sauce, and of course he is the, uh, I, I probably shouldn't say this out loud, he's like the, uh, the stripper, or the nudist of Mugen, whatever you want to call him, uh, or Marvel vs. Capcom, whatever. Um, Terry Bogard, because he's pure awesome sauce, and in every single way, shape, or form, he's an easy character to start using. And, of course, do I need to say the line? Are you okay? Bust out a wolf! Probably the worst impression I've ever done of Terry, but I don't care. Um, Wolverine can be a pain in the butt to uh, deal with, but he's also a very helpful guy when it comes to team matchups. Don Patch because he's a little like me. He's a little random. He's a little unpredictable. You can never figure the dude out. If you knew me in real life, you would know. That's pretty much my personality type. So let's see, I just went to... Uh, Finally, Chip Zana. And no, it's not because I'm part Japanese. Although I wish I were that way. Um, because Japanese have got it awesome. Uh, reason for Chip, his speed, his combo ability, his uh, instant kill, all pure awesome sauce. Other people will say, no, he's not the best character in Guilty Gear. Soul is. Soul can shove that giant sort of his up his own ass. I really don't care. Um, number two, if you had the chance to play 
It's up to Noku versus Capcom. Who would you mainly play as? I don't know. Simply because I don't know the roster. I don't know anybody from the Tatsunoko end of the thing. And I don't know who's all in Capcom. I think from what I've seen in video clips, though, it's like Chun Li, Ryu, um, Borregon. If I were to pick anybody, I would probably start with uh, Ryu because, I mean, I've tried Ryu out quite a few times in uh, Street Fighter games. And I will probably, just, you know, start off mainly playing as Ryu, but I would try other characters out as well. So next up, uh, we have Shuji. Hey, Shuji! High five, man! All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, whatever. Um, this first question is, aside from baseball, which other sport do you like? Give me the American football. I'm not talking about that soccer crap. I'm talking about, uh... I'm talking about just, you know, oh, hook, 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 throw that ball, get it over to the other line, smashing the, smashing into each other, I mean, the, the blood, the swearing, the sweating, and the, ah, ah, ah. whoa, where did that come from? Anywho, so, football, American football. Number two, which moments either here or in the Zet had made you laugh your ass off? <laughs> um, when we started losing our uh, we started losing our minds over who we let in now I and mean, we're letting too many of the noobs in I think our the very first time I started lapping my ass off of some of this stuff was uh, uh, crap I'm trying to think here um, I think it was when we first started going through the whole thing with uh, Eno and the Soul Crushers um, mostly because we have still yet to fix the kid, and he's saying that you know he's got he got he has the skills to back up the reason why he picks his characters. No, he doesn't. And when he constantly keeps asking for help on certain things, he's not doing it. And when he refuses to listen, it just makes me want to laugh my butt off. Also, the poor quality of his videos. Another interruption. Thank you very much, College Parking Lot. Um, give me a minute here. Give me a minute here to think again. Um, and when he just continues to ignore people's advice on certain subjects, it's like, it's laughable. Because he keeps, you know, doing this stuff, and the quality of his videos is so horrible, it's laughable. I have done all that stuff. I have, I will say, letting Eno and any other heavy set of noobs that picks their teams based, or their, their characters for their teams based solely on the AI, is a true laugh your ass off moment. And guess what? As a special request, one time, one time only, will you hear a California grown boy actually say that? <clears throat> Brooklyn Rage! Now that we got that funny part out of the way, our next question comes from Moo Master. By the way, thanks for partaking into this. I figured you were probably going to be doing this sooner or later. Um, he asks me, who do you like better, Raiden or Konoha? Interesting question. If I had to take my pick, Raiden. Electric attacks. Uh, Mortal Kombat has been pretty awesome size, even though I totally, totally suck at it. I will say that for sure. I totally suck at Mortal Kombat. But Raiden himself is pure awesome sauce. Uh, electric attack. A fatality that just electric hits a guy until he explodes. Now that is pure awesome sauce. A Kanoha. Little girl dog ninja thing. Um, yeah. Nothing against that. Uh, just... It's like a weird combination. And then again, Kane in uh, Arcana Heart is a freaking fox girl ninja. So, who, what am I to be talking about there? 